What's up, guys? This is going to be a fun video because, well, I mean, they're all fun, right, Christy? Absolutely. But this video actually has the word fun in the video. We're going to talk about the top six most fun things to do here in Grand Junction, Colorado, and we're going to do it right after this, so stay tuned. What is going on everybody? I'm Robert Hayes. And I'm Christy Hayes. And we are the Hayes Home Group right here in Grand Junction, Colorado. And if this is your very first time to this channel and you just want to know everything about what it's like to work, live, play, eat, sleep here in Grand Junction, make sure you hit that subscribe button. What? Tap the little, tap bell. little bell? Tap all the buttons. <laughs> that way you're notified every time we post a new video. And if you're even thinking about moving here to Grand Junction, we are licensed agents, real estate agents here in Grand Junction. And we are helping people from all over the world and we absolutely love it. So make sure that you give us a phone call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even send that carrier pigeon, <laughs> whatever you need to do. We've got your back when moving here to Grand Junction. As a matter of fact, when you do reach out, and do that text, that phone call, that email. We're the ones that answer all those. Yeah, we have a team of folks that help us, but we're personally the ones to answer all those calls, text, emails. So reach out anytime. We've got your back. Um, so again, we wanted to talk about something fun today. The top six most fun things to do was voted on by Christy and I. Um, yeah, there's probably more and there might be some comments. Oh, you forgot about this one. Well, what about this one? You know what? We, we came up with six. That's it today. Um, but we think based on moving here to Grand Junction in Colorado in general, you're looking for, you know, that that lifestyle, getting out and about the outdoors, colorful Colorado. Um, we're obviously the state you may or may not know. Um, it's been voted one of the healthiest states in the country, and you're certainly going to have that here in Grand Junction. So number one, let's get to it. There it is, the Colorado National Monument. Um, obviously, as far as getting out and about, doing sunset hikes, sunrise hikes. Um, you know, I think there's a trail that you and your friends do all the time called Serpent's Trail, Serpent's right? Serpent's Trail, yep. On the other end of the valley. So um, just a gorgeous backdrop for really any kind of exploring that you want to do here on the Colorado National Monument. Um, you know, again, it's just getting out and about, enjoying nature, enjoying what Colorado has to offer. Not too bad for being up here on the Colorado National Monument. You can also go mountain biking, have a daytime picnic, or go camping for the weekend. Yeah, you can just do it all up here on the National Monument. And again, a lot of these that we're going to talk about cost you the big goose egg, zero. Uh, actually, there's a little bit of a fee to get into the monument, but there's an annual pass. We just did it. It's like 40 bucks for the whole year, mm -hmm. as many times as you want to come up through here and, and do all the wonderful things of exploring the National Monument. Let's get on to number two, which what's number two, Chris? Oh, the Grand Mesa, which is just east of Grand Junction. Um, the world's, what, largest, largest flat, flat top, top mountain, mountain in Colorado. In Colorado, and part of that Grand Mesa experience also includes, you know, hiking trails, fishing, camping, and then at the base of the Grand Mesa is the local skiing, which goes along with the being, you know, exploring the Grand Mesa. So Powderhorn Ski Resort is about what would you say, Christy? About 45 minutes. About 45 minutes tops. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to drive two hours to go to Aspen or Vail and spend, I don't know, what is it, $500 for a lift ticket now <laughs> in Aspen. It's like 70 bucks here for the local skiing. 
and then once winter is over before and after I should say you can do you can put your mountain bike on the chairlift and tow that up to the top and mountain bike down Powderhorn instead of skiing so we were actually mm -hmm. just up there for a uh, color Sunday for color Sunday mm -hmm. we'll show you some b-roll of that and just the absolute exquisite colors that pop during the fall up on the Grand Mesa so again you've got the the incredible colors during the fall mountain biking skiing obviously during ski season head on up to the Grand Mesa you guys will have an absolute blast All right, number three, a little, we're trying to keep these close to Grand Junction. In fact, most all of them are, but there's one thing that you've just got to do when you get out here to Grand Junction, that's go about an hour up the road, up I-70 to a town called Glenwood Springs. And what you're going to find in Glenwood Springs is a really cool adventure park, the Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park. And that's for, you know, if you're going out by yourself, the family, the kiddos, the aunts, uncles are coming to visit, head up to Glenwood Springs. Uh, there's also the uh, the hot springs, right, Christy? Yep, the hot springs. And there's also some really cool caves back there where you can get massages and also go hiking. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's a great time in Glenwood. It's a day trip, mm -hmm. weekend trip. Um, in fact, uh, I'll throw a photo of a swing that Christy and my sister did a couple of years back. Uh, this thing just hangs over the cliff. I don't know, it's like 2,000 feet in the air and it swings you out. Uh, over the cliff, uh, over the cliff side, you wouldn't get me on that thing. But Christy and my sister absolutely <laughs> loved it. They've got an alpine slide takes you from, you know, those alpine slides on the metal rails, kind of a quasi roller coaster kind of deal. But you control the speed of it. So Glenwood Springs, Glenwood Caverns, Adventure Park. Um, you just have a, a blast going up there. So that's number three. They also have the zip line. Oh yeah, they got a zip Josh line up there too. Uh, just again, just mm -hmm. a great time. It's not Disneyland or anything along those lines, but you can absolutely spend the whole day up there. They've got a couple of roller coasters too. Mm -hmm. um, just a fun time in Glenwood. If you're familiar with Tombstone, that movie Tombstone, a lot of people love that movie. Doc Holliday, he was buried in Glenwood Springs. So go see where Doc Holliday's buried. I'm now our way here uh, north the Grand Junction, e northeast of Grand Junction. Let's head into number four, which is one of Christy and I's favorite places to go in, uh, well, really any time from May to about September, is Highline Lake. It's 15, 20 minutes uh, west of here for boating, swimming, swimming camping, camping, grilling, grilling kayaking birthday parties birthday parties whatever yeah. you want to do they've got a campsite there um, again just a great time to go out for the day boating is I think five dollar pass for your car and your boat if you don't have a boat not a big deal they have a beach there you can go and just have a picnic lay out and enjoy the sun yep. um, so just a great time again a couple of bucks and, and you're good to go for the day um, just have a blast over there at Highline Lake All right, Christy, let's get into uh, number five. Go ahead and say what I wrote. <laughs> get your behind on the Colorado River. <laughs> That's right. 
Colorado River runs right through Grand Junction, so why not take advantage of uh, just the, the uniqueness of the Colorado? There's uh, several different launch spots in the valley where you can you know, get your, your kayak, your raft, your tie a bunch of inner tubes together with all your friends and go floating down a few miles to Fruta and exit there if you want. It'll take you a couple hours. Um, just, you know, again, it's free. Get on the Colorado River, enjoy the outdoors, enjoy the lifestyle that Colorado and Grand Junction has to offer. They have, uh, what's the place in Fruta, the raft company? Um, mm. Uh, with something adventures, Rimrock Adventures. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So if you want to do a guided tour, again, really just a nominal fee, they'll take you on a guided tour at Rimrock Adventures down there in Fruta, float the river with a bunch of other people in a raft, and just enjoy the day. It's, what, mm -hmm. March 16th, whatever the heck yep. day it is. It's going to be 70 degrees today here in Colorado in this gorgeous uh, surroundings here up on the monument. You just can't beat it. Don't forget to tie your raft to your inner tube. Not your raft. After a your cooler. Oh yeah, you got to tie your cooler <laughs> yeah. to your tube. Get the cold ones out there and enjoy that that raft trip. Yeah. Um, all right, number six. Okay, so <laughs> north of the valley, really uh, just before you get to the North Mountain Range, which is called the Book Cliffs, there is a vast open desert with miles and miles of trails. Again, the cost is zero. So if you don't have a motorcycle or a Polaris, you can do what Christy and I did. There's a company here in town, I think there might be a couple of them, where you can rent a motorcycle dirt bike and just take it off and, and head out in the desert and, and rip around and have a good time. Or you can do one of those Polaris's. We'll show you some B-roll of that. We did that a couple of months ago. And again, it's just miles of trails. You can actually take one of those trails all the way into Utah, which is about 12 miles from, we're about 12 miles from the Utah border. You can take those all the way into, into Utah and just in, travel those dirt trails. It's just an absolute blast. That's it. I know, you know, there might be a seven, eight, nine. In fact, I know there is, but hey, we're the ones that voted, so you get six today. Um, if there's anything else that you'd like to know about what fun things there are to do, comment below and uh, we'll get back to you. But again, if you're brand new to the channel and you just want to know everything about what it's like to specifically have fun and, and live in Grand Junction, but work and play as well, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the bell. That way you're notified every single time we post a new video. Video. And again, if you're thinking about moving here, you got to reach out. We can't help you if you don't reach out. Give us a call, text, email, whatever you need to do. We've got your back when moving to Grand Junction. Until the next video, we'll catch you later. Peace.